Duffy Books is a literacy program and its main goal is to inspire a love of reading in young people. Duffy Books is Alan sharing but Duffy Books is also putting something back in. I saw Alan Duff on television I think in about 1994. So I phoned him up and said is there anything that we could do to help? And he said well we're just starting a thing called uh, Books and Homes. Buying books may be the last item on any family's list who may be struggling to put food on the table. And so I think our vision to inspire a love of reading um, through the ownership of books is, is a message that's very powerful. When we hand them out at Duffy Assembly, it is special occasion and it is uh, every child who gets up at an assembly uh, gets acknowledged for what it is that they've done really well. Often it's related to reading or writing. They really know that Duffy books are very, very special. So they look forward to it and they are so excited when they get it. Duffy books gave me more than 40 books. I got 10 Duffy books. I have more than 40 books from Duffy. I have more than 30 Duffy books at home. I got 40 books from Duffy. If you ask them about books, they would talk about Duffy books because to them, that and the library here are probably two of their main sources of reading material. The Duffy books, they're new and they've got cool pictures and they haven't read this book before, so every time they get one, they read it a million times. Without books and homes, I don't think every parent and every child will have enough books at home. I want to get smarter and I want a good education when I grow up. I learn all the big words from reading. It teaches me how to read. They teach me a lot of new words and things. Like spelling words and learning about things. I like reading the dinosaurs and I just like think that I'm there in the bushes. <laughs> my big girl reads to my baby every night and it's stuffy books that she reads. Children who by the time they leave here, uh, the bulk of our children are reading at or above expectation of them at uh, year six. It's not just for the kids, but for the adults too. I remember myself, I used to sit and read, you know, just books the kids bring, because as you know, English is our second language. It helps us too. Oh, it's a car. And it's about the hmm? snuggle, snuggle pot and cuddle pies. It's like a story of like them going on adventures, like all over the world, and I got, uh, 3D monster truck book. I'm like my mum, I'm into the speedboats and the racing cars. And now in our primary school there's a, it's a very small rural school. But currently we've got 26 students enrolled. We have a, a very strong literacy focus within our school because we see that that's something that we really need to target for our students. We adapt a number of different programs where we're really honing in on specific things for the kids to focus on and strategies to help them uh, with their learning. We really try to encourage the love of literacy. So it's not just about the mechanics, it's let's love books. Today we're having our Books in Homes presentation and the kids have been really excited about receiving their books. Probably about a month ago they chose their books and have been waiting for the order to come. She was counting down the days till they come and then in the meantime in her library at home she moved her other books to make room for all the new ones and I notice because I come in and help in the classroom a couple of days a week some of the um, kids that mightn't necessarily have reading books at home it's, they become their treasure so yeah no they think that they're the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> when the kids get them they're really excited and tend to pick out books that relate to their family and Jeffrey picked a book out last time, My Dad's the Best. They're more interested in the book when they get it themselves and then it makes them more keen to read it. They'll come and ask me to sit with them and um, I'll just sit there and listen to them reading and yeah, and if they sort of get stuck with a bit of, with a bit of like a word in the book, I'll tell them to look at the word one letter at a time. Books in Homes has been a fantastic program for us. For the kids to have their own books in their own home is just a wonderful buzz. Lots of kids don't get this opportunity, so it's really an important thing. It's like having Christmas every term. The kids feel good about getting these books and we feel good because we know they're taking books home 
And when our children go home and feel good about themselves, they walk into their house and share that with their parents. And if you have parents on side, having that shared understanding that education is important, then really half the battle's won. It's a gift, but it's also, it's more than a gift because it's that sense of, you know, I can read these books, these books are now mine, and they feel good about it. They just, they love it. And they go home and their parents love it because their kids are happy. I was one of the very first children to receive a Duffy book. I do recall receiving the Scholastic catalogues once a month and they called it Lucky Books and seeing the prices of all of these books and thinking I can't go back to my parents and ask if I can have these books. And Duffy came along and the books were ours. We were awarded through a program called Court Being Good and that was just an anomaly in our community because you're only caught being bad you could nominate your fellow pupils if you saw them being good and if your name was drawn out of a hat, you got to choose a book of your own choice. It was literally opening a door to worlds. What do books mean to me? The root word of education is educare, and educare in Latin means to draw out. Traditionally, I think we look at education as to top up, to give information and to put it into your head. But actually, educare means to draw out. And a book allows us to draw out of our own heads our own education and to shape our own perception of life. I have a perception of life and that perception has been shaped by the many experiences that I've been able to achieve that I believe I would not have been able to achieve if I was not a Duffy kid. I got to travel the world, I got to train as an opera singer, I got to join the army for a while and experience war zones, I got to teach. When you become a reader, words are very interesting and I learned a new word last week and that word is an Imagineer. An Imagineer is a person who works for Disney World, an Imagineer designs rides for people to enjoy while they're at the park. I like that word because what it does is it takes imagination and crosses it with the word engineer and it turns it into something that actually you can bring your imagination to life through being an imagineer. So I like to think that as a result of being a Duffy kid, I'm now an imagineer. The choices that I've made have been the culmination of success as a result of the Duffy Books and Homes program. And I'm so proud to look back to think 20 years when we first got that book, where I am now. Thank you.